Hi, I'm Chris, this is Rail Focus, and this is part two of my two-part video about Rail Live. Just taking a look in this video about infrastructure and kit. So there's plenty of kit on display, like these RRVs behind me here. Just a huge range of different machines used in the maintenance and upgrades of our railways. I'll have a few interviews with a few people, just taking a look at some of the more interesting kit and some of the smaller stands as well, because it's not just all about mega machines like this. There are other smaller service providers as well who are also on display at this year's event. One of the highlights of Rail Live is usually a demonstration by the British Transport Police and there's going to be one on today. There's one starting about five minutes which involves this tram. Not entirely sure what they're going to be doing but I'll be videoing the whole sequence of events anyway so you get to see what they're up to and uh, yeah, what, what they're actually going to be demonstrating at this year's show. Um, so we're about to, to see one demonstration here. Um, this is a, an ongoing counter-terrorism uh, attack which is underway. One attacker is armed with a knife and is indiscriminately attacking members of the public, causing mass casualties. A BTP armed response vehicle is part of an armed deployment to identify, locate and confront the offender. Um, in this scenario, the information intelligence has been received by our control room and the control room have deployed uh, these officers uh, under a tactic um, to deal with the offender. So I'll leave the officers to proceed. <coughs> Thank you. Exercise on! So there we are, that was one of the BTP displays, they were just uh, apprehending an assailant with a knife on board the tram. Not sure what the sound's going to be like on that, I hope you can just about hear what they were saying and things like that. They did do a lot of shouting so hopefully my sound quality is good enough that you can hear that in the, uh, in the video itself, but uh, yeah doesn't quite fit into engineering and infrastructure but I thought it fitted better into this video than it would into a rolling stop video let's say oh yeah that's quite interesting anyway that's the kind of thing you will uh, get to see at rail live events so I've got Tracy and Alan from X-Rail and they're going to tell me a little bit about what X-Rail does uh, so X-Rail we're an infrastructure services group with uh, offices obviously in London in the north in Warrington and Leeds I say UK business, we also have projects in Mali, uh, in Spain, high speed rail maintenance and in Saudi Arabia f for the Haramain high speed rail. What sort of services? So with the Mali, it's signal maintenance, predominantly on the high speed railway between Madrid and Valencia. Uh, in Saudi, 
it's a little lot little larger the scope because we also cover technical buildings so it's more of a one-stop shop in Saudi Arabia um, predominantly our client is Siemens in Spain um, which we've got a very good uh, strong relationship with them um, Haramain's been running for three years now, uh, it's getting from strength to strength. We just signed a training agreement with SRP, which is the Saudi Railway Polytechnic, for 12 apprentices to join the company in September, which we're really excited about and looking forward to. Um, and we're looking at ways... Replicating it in, in Spain. Replicating it in yeah. Spain. There's not so much of the support uh, government-wise in Spain, so we're looking at um, colleges that we can work with to bring in interns um, for their work experience which they have to do for their engineering degrees um, and there's a little bit of support from the government um, which we're hoping to utilize for for the apprentices in Spain um, Definitely, you yeah. your time. Great. you're welcome I'm here with Andy from Haztec Rail and he's going to talk a little bit about this new collision detection system which is on display at Rail Live 2022. Hi, I'm Andy from Haztec Rail. We designed the anti-collision system for OP, OTP plant. We've currently got 22 units fitted to OCR's plant. Basically what it does, it's a radar system that works on the OTP to stop the machines from colliding into each other. So what happens is it drives up towards eight, eight meters away and then it automatically cuts the drive and then brakes. The radar itself is configured to work within the W6 gauge. So it works at a 10 degree angle. Normal radars work at 180 degrees, ours works down at 10 degrees. So it's got different algorithms built into it so that it manages to get through the W6 gauge. Um, it also logs the data, fully data logs, so it logs the speed of the machine. It also allows the machine to drive at five mile an hour. When it gets to six, it does an audible alarm that tells the operator that it needs to slow down. If the operator doesn't slow down, it automatically cuts the brakes and slows the, operator, slows the machine down. So that was Andy from Haztec Rail who kindly was talking about his, uh, well their collision detection system which are fitted to their uh, vehicles and it basically improves the, the safety of the railway which can only be a good thing. So it's not all heavy rail engineering that's on display, there is a huge range of services. So this is Rentskill, they've got some Hawks and Falcons here. So basically what these are used for, it's not so much for kind of killing pests, it's more they take it into huge large stations and it's just to deter birds like pigeons and things like that. So they'll take them in maybe twice a week just to kind of, for the pigeons to get the idea that they're actually, there are hawks and falcons around and basically just acts as that deterrent just to kind of deter those birds from taking up residence in the large stations because you know they are um, they are open to the elements for much of much of the stations so they do need that deterrent so that's just one of the kind of infrastructure services that are on display at Rail Live. I'm here with uh, Walter from Linsinger and he's going to talk to us a little bit about this uh, rail milling machine that we have here. It's quite an impressive piece of kit and he's going to tell us all about it. Hello, uh, that what you can see here is a rail milling machine. A rail milling machine is to restore the, the rail head if it is worn. Uh, on this rail milling machines, machine there are two milling units. Uh, the milling units are equipped with a cutter head. This a cutter head is equipped with carbide tips. And with these carbide tips you cut out material, metal chips out of the rail if the rail head is worn. Uh, this machine uh, has uh, the, the, the sense uh, to make uh, old rail heads new. That's good for 
uh, driving or a riding comfort uh, that's good for the environment, for the noise, uh, that's good for safety because uh, the railhead can also have cracks and these cracks are growing and in the worst case uh, the, the rail uh, breaks and uh, it's a common technology to improve the railhead. This machine was uh, sold to Network Rail. Two of these machines have been delivered in the last two years and they are now working on, on the network of Network Rail. Uh, this machine has a weight of a, approximately 195 tons and has a length of uh, 50 meters. Uh, so uh, this machine is a very big machine. It's specially designed for application on big railway uh, networks like Network Rail, but company Linsinger has also smaller machines in, his, in its portfolio, for instance also for uh, metros. These machines are very uh, much smaller and also lighter uh, and uh, can be used in networks uh, of uh, uh, or urban transits and so on. Uh, and these machines we can also uh, uh, produce with uh, alternative drive, not with diesel drive, we can also make it with hydrogen or battery driven, which, uh, which has the advantage uh, that we have zero emission with these machines. So this is another one of the sorts of demonstrations you can expect to see at Rail Live. So we've got an active job on here. So we're kind of recreating a uh, replacement of a rail. Uh, but basically this is to demonstrate the on-wave geofencing system, which just basically creates a uh, geofence. So geofenced is basically based on GPS, or it can be based on GPS, and it just creates a fenced off area, a digital or artificial fenced off area which helps protect the people on the ground. So you can see here we've got some RV, we've got a plant machine there, you know, it, it can present a danger to the people on the ground. So these people here which are currently, you know, they're up in and around that machine, they, you know, it can't be helped, um, but they've got devices on them which will give them haptic, fee haptic feedback and will give them audible feedback as well if they stray onto a section of the line. So maybe they've got a live, live line still running or something like that, or as a uh, freight train due to come past. Or if the actual RV is active, then it can also create a geofence around that as well. So once, if a person on the ground does stray into an area that they shouldn't be, that presents a danger to them, then they get that uh, notification for them to step back and step away from the, uh, the danger zone. So that was just a very small selection of the highlights from Rail Live 2022. There is so much to see here, I can't get round it all, but hopefully I gave you a little bit of a flavour of what's on display at these sorts of events and um, what sort of organisations and companies are displaying what sort of equipment. So I uh, hope you've liked this video. If you have, do hit that like button, consider subscribing and uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today. Say so until next time, bye bye.